Hi guys, uh, welcome to the teaching and learning. This is Abdul Gafru with the proposed questions and answer for the teaching license. Uh, this will be third video uh, with very uh, suitable questions and I'm sure they are helping you. Thank you so much for your appreciation and subscription. Once again, my motivation is your subscription. So keep uh, liking and commenting and subscribing my videos if you have any question regarding that if you need anything from my side feel free you can write me email you can comment I'll be trying my best uh, to assist and uh, to be a one of the your resources uh, to help uh, you in order to get the highest score in your teaching license so today I have added few questions and this is really important and very most important uh, questions in this so let's see what are these questions and how you have to do this so first you can see that uh, most of uh, educators even and the students uh, they think that the graphs and the charts pi and all these things they are really hard to define and to describe and but I don't think so that what we have to do we have to just uh, change the way we think or change our way uh, the way we look so we have to just change our perspective it's not a rocket science and it's not really hard to answer these things you know because the answers are already available in the chart graphs pictures diagrams and all we have to just find out so we have to change the perspective of uh, thinking and analyzing the graph so this is what exactly I'm going to do in this video uh, most of the questions in the pedagogy uh, the teacher finds the graphs and the, the pyramids and other illustrations so I'm going to help you to show how to answer if you're gonna find the graph and what perspective you have to change it okay so here's the number one question and the graph below illustrates the relationship between the motivation and academic performance choose the most accurate relationship okay now first thing you need to understand the question the motivation and academic performance so the one part the horizontal part shows the motivation and the academic part uh, the vertical part shows the academic performance so means and the most accurate means what they are looking that if one thing is increased the another thing what will happen to the other thing right so in physics we uh, use these two terms okay directly proportional and inversely proportional if you are the science teacher or the physics teacher so these two perspective okay you have to think like that uh, that is it a directly proportional or inversely proportional if you have a subject is specialized you know very well what does it mean okay so academic performance shows if this you know so question is that what if the motivation level is going to increase what happens to the performance level so here are the question you can see here that this is the uh, these are the answers a medium level of students according to this graph right let's read the option a medium level of students motivation results in a moderate level of academic performance so one thing is the moderate and the medium both are the same thing a medium level of students motivation results in a moderate level of the academic this doesn't make sense okay because question is the best uh, relationship between so it will be the either lowest or highest we are not talking about the moderate okay what if the motivation is gonna be so think about it okay so you have to keep the side the answer you think this doesn't make sense okay a very high level of students motivation maximize their academic performance if the motivation level is a high the performance will be maximum this makes sense and so you can I'm, I'm going to highlight this students motivation level always affect their academic performance okay that's true but this can be possible that when we don't have a graph but we have a graph here so we'll not go for that 
a very high level of the students motivation uh, affects their academic performance negatively yes it can be possible yes so these three answers are really closed right but we what we have what source we have to analyze this source this source allows us that don't think about the negative we don't have a negative this source allows us that we should not go students motivation level always affect this is not about the effects of the performance this is about shows that if something is going to be increased what happened to another thing so another thing will also increase so if the motivation level is going to go to the high level definitely it will affect onto the academic performance so while you think you have to just think differently that you have a given source okay so you don't have to go to the answers which is are written over there because you have analyzed the source of the information if you're going to think only these you know otherwise these three or maybe these four answers are correct but the question says okay the relationship between two things academic performance and motivation so one thing is going to increase what happens to another thing so this is one thing you have to be careful about that now second thing according to uh, maslow's hierarchy needs uh, which suggests that before students meet their full potential they need to satisfy the series of needs right you have to think about the uh, the needs of the hierarchy i'll hierarchy i'll be sharing with you and you can check my video as well as you know now question is that what is the need that did not meet if the student felt lonely and rejected what happens to you think about it in both questions this one and this if you are motivated what you will do your performance will increase so for the teachers what is the uh, factor of the motivation i think for me uh, a salary is the most important factor that is motivating and which is affecting on my performance yes it is so here what is the need that did not meet if the student felt lonely and rejected what i feel as a student if i feel rejected and lonely how it is? is it affecting on my safety belonging self equalization or not it affect on my self esteem self respect so about the question you have to think of the last part of the question which i have highlighted right the first part is creating the ground but the actual thing is asking in the last part okay so what are you going to do you have to analyze this one self actualization okay they have the part okay you have to go to the self esteem stage feeling accomplishment right so this is your self esteem that if you are rejected and if you are something okay if you feel lonely okay this is affecting on your respect it's not about the safety it's not about you know the food and water physiological so this is psychological need keep in mind okay this is a part of the psychological psychological need but which part of the psychological need self respect per stage uh a feeling of accomplishment so you have to go through maslow's hierarchy i have already defined i am going to suggest you this video uh, the video of the first for the motivation areas of motivation and maslow maslow's hierarchy of the need so this is a say, third okay thing that how it's going to affecting on the this one another thing what is the best term describe the learned learner's ability to pay attention so when say pay attention means is talking about the areas of attention uh, priorities without undue effort what is the best term describe the learner's ability to pay attention to his her priority without undue efforts without any effort one thing suppose you know what is the meaning of if you are watching a video and there is something your mom is going to call you about this is very interesting about your home according now what you have done you are watching your video but your attention you have diverted to your mom you listened that one and she asked you about the homework have you done it you replied it okay and you came back with the same the flow of the attention on the movie or on the television right you didn't do the efforts 
Now what will be the efforts? If you're gonna switch off the TV, you have to go back into the kitchen or somewhere. Okay, so these are the efforts, right? So you means you are not a multitasker at the time. But while you are shifting your information from at the same due course, okay, without disturbing anything that is called, you know, without undue efforts, right? So you have to think about them. So one is a focus attention, one is a selective attention, another one is an alternative attention or shifting attention and sustained attention. So you have to go through, okay, what these attentions are me. I have already defined, okay, in my previous lesson, but this is an alternative or shifting because that's alternative. You're watching television or movie without doing any efforts. You have diverted or shifted your attention to listen your mom and then you come back to the previous task. So this is called, this is a bit uh, tricky, okay? But once you understood what are the areas of the attention, that's very easy. So this is how you're going to get it uh, from the areas of the attention, uh, shifting attention when your child begins one task and stops to shift their focus on other task okay so here so you have when you shift your attention okay and then you have to return back onto the first okay the task okay this is called so guys uh, these were really I love these questions with the graphs and it has something tricky and but uh, for the most of the educators, they think this is, these are the difficult things that we have to do. But the easiest thing is that one. Like the people who have a math skills, okay, they, 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 they can easily uh, understand and they can easily, okay. But uh, we are educators, nothing is uh, possible and nothing is difficult. So we have to just put our efforts in order to achieve the highest score. Thank you so much. We'll be meeting in the next lesson with a new uh, attached with the national agenda uh, because I put this video as a randomly uh, national agenda and we'll go for the cohesive society or uh, economic knowledge and let's see and uh, thank you so much keep subscribing and if you have any question you can write in the comment box thank you stay blessed and stay safe